talk about what do you see as the top regulatory affairs type thing that's affecting the industry, the importing and exporting community right now? What do you, let's just, you know, we'll start off with maybe the top three things that you see people need to look at. Uh, which one wants to start on that? I'll start. Um, to me, it's really going to come down to data. It's really all about information, who we get it from, how we get it, and at what part in the process, at what time in the process do we get the data. And then the second one is going to be entities. Entity piece is going to be a big regulatory issue in 2024. Mark my words on that one. Because as we get closer to knowing with whom we are dealing, in addition to the data that accompanies cargo, I think that's going to be a big one. And the machines that we have to process this information, how are we going to intelligently make those connections and do both the, the enforcement and, and the facilitation instead of relying on old think, which is like physical examinations of cargo, we have to look forward to how can we protect uh, our country and also uh, the industries that are in the United States? How can we do this? properly using all the information that we have available. So that's sort of my thoughts. And Cindy, I don't know what your thoughts are, but that's that's what keeps me up at night. You know, the continued discussion around forced labor and other types of um, enforcement activities that, you know, the ESG, the deforestation, all of those that are going to lead to needing to understand data more. Um, I think the the third one is Section 321 reform and the impact to businesses. You know, the, the express industry really started a lot of the Section 321 business. I, I think that the trend of getting a handle on that because CBP didn't anticipate that. I mean, the rest of the world kind of anticipated it. You and I, Amy, Amy and I would sit together at conferences and I would have something on and she would be like, where did you get that? And she would be online ordering it as we're listening to a conference. So, and that was 10 years ago, right? So that was 10 years ago. So we could see it and CBP didn't see this really exploding. Um, and then automation and trade. Um, like Amy, I see a huge, um, a huge trend toward using automation to get everyone's hands around enforcement, you know, some of the other actions in forced labor, Section 321. Automation and trade is at the point where we were when we had ABI. Because of the federated data, you don't necessarily need to know the exact supplier that talked about that, 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 that we're dealing with. You just need to know what is involved in that process of that supplier and it's federated so that you don't even need to worry about sharing your suppliers, supplier, supplier, suppliers, names and information. But it is good. I just want to interrupt in that because of everything. It's funny. I think that's the theme of 2024. I think you, you all are right. You know, it's data because uh, it, 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 the, the first three episodes of this month, including yours is focusing a lot on data. 